Okay guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to start chapter 3 of Engineering Statics by Merriam and Craig. And this is the first problem. And this problem says that the 50 kg homogeneous smooth sphere rests on the 30 degree incline A and bears against the smooth vertical wall B. Calculate the contact forces at A and B. So we have to find the contact forces at this uh, point B and this point A. This incline is applying some normal force and this vertical wall is applying the normal force and the uh, homogeneous sphere has uh, its weight which is the mass is 50 kg. So now let us say that if, if let us say that I develop my coordinate system at the center of the sphere let us say. Let us say that somewhere here is my coordinate system which is the origin is at the center of the sphere. So the normal force is going to, the normal force of the vertical uh, wall is going to act in this direction, let us say. It must be acting towards the center if the sphere is in equilibrium. This is let us say A and B. And then the weight of the sphere is going to act vertically downward somewhere here, let us say. This is the weight. And the, and A, the normal uh, force applied by this incline will be acting in the radial direction and let me put it like this. This is let us say an A. So now as we can see that uh, since it is given that uh, this smooth sphere is in equilibrium. So if it is in equilibrium these three forces must be concurrent forces. They must meet at this center point of the sphere. So if 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 I draw a horizontal line here, let me draw a, a horizontal line here and if, if I draw a vertical line here. So as we can see that this line, this vertical line is perpendicular with this line, this horizontal line and this and A is perpendicular with the inclined surface. So if the angle between these two lines is 30 degrees then we will have that same 30 degree angle here. So this means that this and A is making 30 degree with the with the vertical. Let's say if this is my x axis, let's say if this is my x axis, this is my y axis, then and A is making 30 degree with the uh, y axis. Now we can solve this problem by using two different methods. One is the by vector analysis by vector algebra. We can find the uh, Cartesian vector representation of these three forces. So if for that if I resolve this and A into its components, so we will have let us say that this and A will have one component which is going to act in this direction and it will have one component which is going to act in the upward direction like this. So this one will be the cost component, this one will be let me write that this is this is an A cos of 30 and this one is an A sine of 30 degrees. So now we can write that an A vector. So the sine component of an A is acting in the positive axis. So I will write an A sine of 30 which is acting in the positive i and the cos component is acting in the positive y. So that is plus an A cos of 30. This is in the positive j. Similarly, n b, n b vector is is acting in the negative x. So I will write, and its magnitude is n b. So I will write minus n b in the i. And similarly, the weight vector, weight is acting in the negative y as well. So that is, we can write this minus n b plus zero j. Similarly, the weight is acting in the negative y. So we can write that this is zero i minus W J. So now if we add up these three forces, this is an A vector plus N B plus that weight vector, this will be equal to 0 since the sphere is in equilibrium. So an A is let me write that an A an A is an A sine of 30 I plus an A 
cos of 30 j this is an a then we have an b so plus and b and b is we can write minus n b i plus 0 j and plus that weight so weight is 0 i minus w j and this will be equal to the 0 vector right this is let me write the 0 vector so 0 vector is 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k since this is vector addition so this will give us that uh, 0 vector so 0 i 0 j and 0 k so now if we add up the i component with i since it is a vector addition so i will be added with i so we can write that this is an a uh, from this we can write that the summation of the forces along i uh, along x this will be equal to 0 so n a sin 30 this is the summation of forces along the i right so n a sin of 30 minus n b and this is 0 right so this is this will be equal to 0 so from this we can write that n b is equal to n a sin of 30 and similarly if we add up the components along the y axis that is along the j so this is an a cos of 30 and this is 0 and this is minus w so minus w is equal to 0 and from this we can write that an a cos of 30 this is equal to w or we can say that an a is w divided by cos of 30 so an a is w divided by cos of 30 and now the weight is weight is the mass is 50 kg so 50 into 9.81 divided by cos of 30 so this is 50 into 9.81 divided by cos of 30 this gives us n a equals to 566.38 so n a 566.38 newtons and similarly if we put an a in this equation so n b is the sine component of an a so this n b is an a sine of 30 so now n a is 566.38 sine of 30 this is equal to 283.19 so 283.19 newton so this is the uh, normal force applied by the vertical wall and this is the normal force applied by the inclined surface at a now this is one method of solving this problem and now there is one another method of solving this problem by by graphical analysis or we can say that by vector addition by head to tail rule so now we can if if the resultant of these three forces is equal to zero so they must make a closed triangle so if we arrange if we put all these forces and if we arrange these forces by head to tail rule so they must make a closed triangle right so if i put this and b here let's say this is my and b and this is my and a and this is my weight so they must make a closed triangle like this so let me write that this is the this is an a this is uh, an b and this is weight and as we know that that an a was making 30 degree with the vertical so this is here we have that same 30 degree angle so now we have this right angle triangle and the, these three forces make a closed triangle their resultant is zero so this means that the sphere is in equilibrium so again considering this uh, right angle triangle we can say that sine of 30 or uh, we can say that cos of 30 let me write cos of 30 cos of 30 is base divided by hypotenuse so for this angle the base is weight this w and hypotenuse is an e so now from this we can write that an a is w by cos of 30 now we got this same equation so we will get that same an a which is 
566.38 Newton. And similarly, if we apply sin 30 to that right angle triangle, so sin 30 is perpendicular divided by hypotenuse, so perpendicular is an B and hypotenuse is an A. So, from this we can write that N B is equal to N A sine of 30 and we will get that same 283.19 Newton. So, now you people need to remember that if, if a given system is in equilibrium and, and it is subjected to three forces. So, these three forces must be concurrent if the system need to be in equilibrium. If the system is in equilibrium, these three forces must be concurrent. They must, the line of action of these three forces must meet at one common point. And if we arrange these forces, if we aid these forces by head to tail rule, they must make a closed triangle.